Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you see, today we are barefaced to start. And the reason for that being is because I already know this is going to be a really long video. So as you saw by the title, today I'm going to be reacting to The Bachelorette, the recent episode. Um, I did watch a little bit of it. And, um, but then I was like, oh, this would make a really great video. So I stopped watching it. And It's thunderstorming outside and you most definitely will be able to hear it because my camera picks up absolutely everything and if I can adjust it in editing I will but I probably won't know how to so I'm sorry but like I was saying so basically we're I'm going to put a screen recording of what I'm watching on this video and I'm kind of gonna watch it with me obviously not everything I'm only gonna put in this video the parts I react to because it's gonna kind of be boring if I'm just like watching and not saying anything and also for I'm sure copyright purposes I won't be able to put the whole entire episode in this video so I'm just going to put in the parts I react to so yeah I'm just gonna be doing my makeup while doing this because I didn't want to just sit and react to it I wanted to be doing something I also want to do this because you know like people like to s see like maybe you'll come on YouTube maybe you'll go on Twitter or Instagram and like see if people are also thinking the same thing you are about these contestants the bachelor slash bachelorette so like I want this to be like a place for us all to like share our thoughts on this year's bachelorette episode um briefly before I get into this this will be a long one so buckle up I'm sorry you guys know I just I struggle with making short videos it's at this point it's my brand so i'm sorry it's another longer video but there's no way to really make a reaction video short um especially with the bachelorette being two hour or almost two hour episodes like an hour and a half episodes so yeah we're gonna get into this before we do though i'm going to give you my opinion on the season kind of i wasn't sure how hannah was gonna be as the bachelorette i thought she was gonna be kind of awkward and maybe not like like be very weird on these dates but she's actually been doing really good. I thought she was just going to be awkward because we all saw the infamous toast with Colton where she just couldn't make a toast. And I even feel like throughout the whole season, she kind of lacked, like, I don't know, I kind of see that she lacked substance. But now with her being the bachelorette, you really see, like, multiple layers of her. Um, and so now I, like, really like Hannah. Um, not that I disliked her in Colton season, I was just like, she didn't like intrigue me really. But I do like her as the Bachelorette because right off the bat she was no nonsense, she she knew what she wanted, and she was just getting rid of people when she needed to. I think she has kept Luke P far too long. At first I thought, because my working theory is that they tell the Bachelor slash Bachelorette that they need to keep a controversial character for a certain amount of weeks to keep the show interesting because if you get rid of that controversial character right off the bat then the season <laughs> it isn't as intriguing to watch to people i guess um and so i thought he, luke p was that character besides john paul john whatever his name is but then it became evident that she did have feelings for him and this whole time i feel like he's been manipulating her because obviously we see what the boys see but she doesn't see what they see or she kind of does because I mean she kind of does but like when the guy went home last episode he was like the only reason I feel like she, she he is still there is because she's already in love with him and I kind of agree because at this point she's she must be wrapped up in him for her to still have him around so I think like she sees all these bad qualities, but it's like, but he's still cute, but he's still this, and he does this for me. And and I think a lot of girls can kind of like relate to that situation. I don't fault her all the way for it, but I really think like it, you have all these other options and like you're still having you still have him around. Like I think she should have let him go a while ago. But I still feel like I still get the no nonsense thing from her. I really like the way she's been handling the season. So those are my thoughts. Now I'm basically just going to screen record my phone. I'm going to watch it. So if you see me looking this way a lot, it's because my phone is this way. And the focus is obviously my opinions on the show. It's not the makeup. Another thing, I, I'm not like a religious 
bachelor slash bachelor watcher I don't watch every season, but I, I like watch what I can, I guess. Also, my other thoughts, the reason I feel like I don't really do it is because I find the Bachelor slash Bachelorette to be really unrealistic. Getting engaged in six weeks um, and around that time just seems really unrealistic to me. And I feel like, obviously, people like, I don't doubt they fall in love in that time frame because people fall in love at different rates. So I think it's possible but to every time to happen like that, I don't, I don't know how possible it is. I think they think they're in love though, based on the environment they're in. So I feel like they're in this bubble, and they're like, oh, I have these strong feelings for this person. It must be love. So I feel like if you're in a bubble, it's like anybody was in that setting, and you, you only had one girl or boy available to you. I feel like anyone would develop feelings for that person, and eventually express feelings of love but I feel like it's like a bubble like I don't know if they're actually feeling or like feeling these emotions or I don't know if they're actually processing these emotions properly so I just find it unrealistic but I still watch it's kind of entertaining and I think the entertaining part is seeing how many of these people actually work out but now we're gonna get into it this week, we're here in Crete, Greece, because it's Fantasy Sweet Week. She's a little quirky. I don't want to be with for the rest of my life. Well, Peter and I had a slower start, but we definitely had a... I like Peter. Our relationship really took off. Of, like, what our life would be like. They're always making out. Honestly, I don't know if I, like... Like, just this totally raw someone. I if think they're I so cute together. In this, like, background, I haven't been completely... It's kind of sappy, though. There's so many moments where I kind of... I hope like, get up and scream, in like, this episode, he says... Better. Just, like, let it all out. He loves like, her. Because he didn't say it oh before. God. And I'm really hoping he says it because he didn't say it at hometowns. And I think he really needs to. Because that's what she's looking for at this point. You have no idea how much I like you. But I want to know that the guy that I choose at the end of this is does love me. See, she wants to see I everybody say, I love I you by this point. So I'm hoping at. he says it. I guess I like Peter. See. Every time she says that she, this, like he's everything she thought of, like when she was playing with her, her Barbie dolls, like he would be like... Or like when she was thinking about her future, he th she thought of him, and it's making me think that she doesn't choose him, because I feel like she's looking for something the complete opposite of what she would have wanted, and I think that's why Luke P is still around. This is also getting so down to the wire. Like I've got to let her know how I feel. Please do. Hometowns last week. Just say it. Just you know, say it. From my family and just them like totally accepting you and. I've been he's so trying to say it, but he's getting nervous. I'm like <laughs> just saying it. I, um... So when we were flying... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, like, today, mm -hmm. I was, like, really nervous. Okay. And I, I know, like, we it know. makes no sense, because I love... I, you know, with previous stuff, I've not made... Oh, that one. And I've never just had something... Say it. ...ever in my life, Hannah. It made me realize... ...how in love with you I am. He's wow. the one from the moon. Yes. Oh, brother. Okay. So, like, loving and passionate. It was really great. And I feel so confident in what we have now. I love you. Don't feel too confident. You get that home at any time. I agree that we took our relationship to the next level. Mm -hmm. Well, duh. This is so real. It doesn't bother me like, about the other guys. It'd be really tough for me to I'm like when I say this because with, with someone else. You I guess so at home at any time. Mike drop. Game over. And it's mine. <laughs> he is confident in his skills. Tyler gives me like preppy. Gives me gives me preppy like frat boy vibe. That's what he gives me. I never thought we would be at this point. 
our physical to be honest, I don't think so either. Been... I like the dynamic, he's cute. This is definitely a sexy scene. I wonder if the crew feels awkward, like, watching all this happen, like... Okay, guys, so I, I'm having a problem with the screen recording on my phone, and so I'll probably just leave, like, the audio in in the background, hopefully you can hear it, so I don't think for every clip I'm going to have the screen recording up, because it's not saving, and I don't know why. I'll figure it out. I don't want to go into fantasy suite and have sex, because I... Don't feel like that's what our relationship needs. Yeah. I think we have to explore <laughs> just like being together. And I, I do love you. Like, I am so far. I think you handled what I said really well tonight. He didn't question why I felt oh, the way about I did. that. It didn't phase him. She says it didn't phase him, but. <laughs> It shows it how looks like much like, he loves me. Like his, he was drawn and then his mouth tied up. Like he it faced him, respected. but he didn't let it show too much of his emotions. And I don't think he would have pressured her into because anything. You're asking me my wife. It just seems to fit so easily and perfect. Like it was meant to happen. All the guys that are left are so sweet. I like don't feel so bad because they're, she has like a good group of guys left. And she has to send one of them home. Jed isn't my favorite. I don't really like Jed. I think he's sweet. He's cute. But I just can't see it. But she really likes him. So I'm kind of afraid he's the one she chooses. Welcome. Like, I don't know. Like, I like him not enough where I think she should choose him. This couple's doing the third degree. He did not like her answers. I don't I'm like Luke. I think it's hypocritical that he asks a question about his relationship and the Jed asks a question about her and Luke, but they've been grilling him this whole time to about him it like naturally coming up a conversation or him asking about other relationships, like I think. And I know it's because he's got like a bad history like i'm not giving him any passes i don't like him either but like this moment uh, was very hypocritical in the grand scheme of how I don't uh, want to say uh, everybody's grilling to look for the same thing i do think he's a good guy mm. yeah. I don't know what to not say. really what are you doing girlfriend uh, mm. i guess if you're this close to finding your husband then what makes you hold on to something so uncertain this was such a good question. Um, a feeling? That answer definitely did not I'm so do it for him. I really care about him. It makes me feel worried that you have a hard time letting go of things that aren't good for you in your life. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tea. She does not want to let go of Luke. Uh, and obviously she's had trouble let go of letting, letting go of people. Like worried. Like and Luke when I feel worried, I felt to reach out to about Lou, how it was like really and truly affecting me, and it really upset her. I hope that because she's back, what it's we have, right. and how amazing it is. My conversation with Jed freaked me out for a second, but it really shows how much that he cares for me and. And she's still not gonna take the I'm advice. I'm not looking for. I'm not more sure about you, Mr. Jed. See, I'm afraid she's gonna choose him because she's <laughs> he's the only one that she assures him of her feelings completely like that. I can't believe this is finally happening. I can spend all day with him. I've been waiting for this for <laughs> too long. And the resident right psychopath. Track, so it's like <sighs> Marriage should be honored by everybody. 
and how the marriage uh -oh. that it should be kept pure, regardless of what I've done in the past. I am so born again, virgin. I knew it. And see, it was either the last episode or the one before that. He expressed concern about her date with Garrett, and I was like. Why does he have these strong feelings? I feel like still nothing was resolved after that first conversation. I feel like it's coming up right now. And so I'm just saying, I knew it. Like, I knew he was like a born again virgin, basically. So he did all this in the past, then turned to his faith, and now he's decided to abstain. Say they believe in some things, but yet, yeah, like, they live or do things completely differently. Mm -hmm. I think it's hypocritical. Thinking about family relationships here. I think it's rude to think that she would do what he like, wants. I, totally have all the trust in the world for you. I feel like you should have established this earlier, and this is why I think they should have taken that first conversation a little deeper. And, like, why do you have the right to do that? Because you're not my husband. And you're not. Preach. No. Definitely. It's just that you're that you're questioning me, that you're judging me, and feel like you have the right to. I don't take it lightly when I say that I love you. And now he's backpedaling. And I'm hoping that. Let's say you have had sex. Throw a crazy scenario. I don't want to get into the being misconstrued and being misunderstood. Thank you, Kenny. Because it's happened a lot. It happens because you said. You're right. And now she's catching on to his. Just to be real, like, be real. Like, you know what? I want to start sex with everyone and see what it's like. That was such yeah, a I would be like, okay. It's going down we'll talk to you, fast, you know, like, I'm out of here. So what but was that? Yeah, like, Honestly, he used to do the same like, thing, so I don't know why he expects her to have his, his morals now. Like, really like, if you want okay. someone pure okay. or like a... a the Someone thing that I've ever who wasn't felt but is abstaining now, like he is, then he should set that precedent earlier that that's and who he was looking for. Like mm -hmm. have, have sex, he's trying that, to like, condemn her, like, I like have he's perfect and stuff. So like Luke it's says what well, he needs to say to stay because he's acceptable for your wife to be. Who are you again? The same guy he's always been, but Discover you Hi, haven't seen. Travel, but my heart has just not allowed me to let you go. I don't know why. And I crave so much for clarity, and I feel like I've finally gotten clarity on you. And I'm glad you finally got there. Took you long enough. He is psychotic. He can't bear the fact that he lost. Like, he feels the control slipping away, and now he's doing like. Whatever he can, kind of. Luke wants love for people that only want the same thing that he wants. Mm -hmm. And only sees things the way that he sees love. Mm -hmm. My husband. I'm not ever judging or condemning you. I Except he is. You what I, I have had sex. Say what? Yeah. Say what? I thought you weren't judging her. I don't think he should have expected her to be like that. And he shouldn't expect any woman to automatically know his ideals and to live by that. I feel. A weight lifted off my shoulders. Thank God. I finally figured it out from myself. After everybody told you. I just feel. Yeah. I mean, I thought there's no way I'd want to do it anymore. He is psycho. And he's sad to say that. Oh my god, he's psycho. And this is over for me. This is my heart we're talking about here. This is not about your heart. Mm-hmm. Five foot eight, probably can't fight. Luke coming back, that's crazy. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this episode. Okay guys, so this is my full face all done. Apparently my lips wanted a darker look. This was not what I was going for, but I'm tired. I couldn't be bothered trying to change it. It's just, it is what it is. Also, my lash is drying on my eye still. But regardless, I really do like the lashes. They have like just enough separation to see through it to the eyeshadow. I like that. Um, but 
back to the point of this video. My final thoughts on this episode are basically Hannah finally sent Luke P home, which is what I was literally waiting all season for. I don't know if people are, but if they are, I don't think they should judge Hannah for keeping him this long necessarily. I feel like her keeping him from this for this long, people can like relate to it. How you see the red flags yourself. Other people are telling you they don't like him. Um, they're they're bringing up red flags about it, but you're like, no, like this is the way he is with me. Um, I think it's very relatable um, content that I'm sure people can relate to you know ignoring red flags and still staying with that person but then finally coming to a breaking point i think all three dates went fine um i don't i don't know jed isn't my favorite i think it's funny how he admitted in the beginning he wasn't here for the right reasons and she kept him basically to the end but i really i just anybody but jed i just don't like the dynamic i also think she may choose him at the end because He's the only one that she's affirmed her feelings for. So she tells her, I'm falling in love with you. She constantly reassures him. Um, I think she has a difficult decision ahead of her. I would make my final two guys, Peter and Tyler. And at this point, everybody's heart is going to be broken. It's just, it's that late in the thing where there are strong feelings on both ends. The one thing I liked about Jed is his family and how his mom automatically right off the bat acknowledge like this is kind of unrealistic like you move this like t two months ago you were sitting at home writing a song and now you may or may not get engaged in two weeks however long um they were filming for so like i appreciated that aspect all right guys that was it i'm sorry for this hot mess of a video um I had difficulties with the screen recording, apparently, um, YouTube TV, which is what um, my family uses, we use like the streaming service, so apparently YouTube TV kind of blocks screen recording from recording shows, so there's a portion of it that I'm hoping just the audio came through so you can like listen to what they're saying. Eventually I moved to my computer where I was able to screen record, so hopefully I don't have any problems uploading that if i do i apologize for that too but this hopefully will get better as i go on now that i know um how kind of like screen recording works and like what apps it doesn't work on and hopefully i'll warm up to the camera too i feel like i was kind of just like like nodding and like thinking things in my head and not actually expressing it on camera so hopefully next time i'm more talkative with my commentary on it and my reactions and you know what's funny about this video before watching it i was just watching um as told by kenya her video on um things she hates about youtubers and she was like she hates how new youtubers do reaction videos in order to kind of like break through on the space that's not my purpose here i thought it would be it's like my version of like a bachelor nation party kind of thing so you get to come watch hang out with me and hear my thoughts on episodes and leave your comments you know down below about what you thought about the episode how you think this season is going what you think is going to happen so yeah i'm going to try to figure out a better way to structure this i think this format of the video was kind of uh, all right like giving my commentary throughout and then my final opinion at the end i'm going to get better at that and more comfortable and hopefully it'll be a much smoother transition so yeah that's it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share the video if you liked it let me know down below how you think this season is going um what you think of the guys what you think of hannah what you thought of this video maybe ways you think i can improve it this was my first one of this kind of video uh, so i don't expect it to be good and i didn't expect it to go perfectly um and i you know I encountered some technical difficulties, but you live and you learn, and next time will be better. Um, so just maybe let me know tips you think I should know, stuff like that, anything. Comment, 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 let me know. If you got this far, if you watched to the end, thank you so much, I appreciate you. I know it was a long one. Comment a rose 
down below. I didn't forget about my end of the video shout out. I mentioned her earlier in this video. This shout out is going to go to As Told by Kenya. Um, she has no idea who I am. I do follow her though. She is a commentary channel. She just comments on it all. Just like kind of I guess the social media space in general. And so she's not a drama channel. Um, she also does like makeup and like wig reviews here and there. Her channel really blew up during uh, the whole James Charles scandal and that's admittedly when I also found her because she um, I made a video about it but she's extremely funny and she really is fair with her opinion and not to mention she's smart she's going to law school so I really think her channel is worth the follow I will also put up screenshots of her other social media she has Twitter and Instagram she does say that she is the most active on Twitter that's like where she communicates more and obviously other than YouTube um, YouTube she's really active so yeah definitely go give her a follow and that's it thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye